Well, good morning everybody from Jeff's Little Engine Service. Good to see all you guys again. Uh, today we have an easy one. It's a Toro push lawn mower with a dirty sock on it. And you can see what's going on is all we have to do is replace the pull rope. Should be pretty easy. This is a very common lawn mower. Toro built a million of them and they all have this crappy Tecumseh engine on there. First thing we want to do is remove this uh, engine cover and to do that we have to get down into these holes and there's some bolts down in there. There's usually a bunch of stuff down in those holes so you'll have to blow it out before you can stick your um, quarter inch socket down in there. Now I can see the bolts. Most Tecumseh engines are all the same too. You just have to take off this engine cover to get to the part. And on this model you have to remove the dipstick to take the cover off. There we go. Now you see what we have is another quarter inch bolt there and one on the other side and that's all that holds that thing on. So luckily the ferrule stayed in place so we're not going to have to rewind this but I'll show you how to do that. And you have to get the string out of there, so I'll just cut it. Now this comes right off. You can see when you pull on the rope, those little pawls come out, or dogs, whatever you want to call them. And that's what rotates the engine. So luckily, we still have the ferrule on here. Uh, so we won't have to rewind it, but we're, what we're going to want to do is basically pull this all the way tight so the rope's all the way out. Go ahead and stick something down in there to hold it in place. And now we can, you can see the knot right there, so we'll cut that. There we go. Pull that out. All right. So, if your spring was sprung, <clears throat> you didn't have a little ferrule holding the rope out, uh, what you'll want to do is basically rotate this, wind it, and it'll get tighter as you're winding up the spring. You want to wind it about seven times uh, before you poke the string through. But we don't have to worry about that on this one. So here, I have about eight feet of rope, and we're going to want to poke it poke it through the outside and then it has to come out I don't know if you guys can see that that hole there so you'll want to line it up sometimes it can be hard to poke this through so I don't know if you can see but what I've done is I put a lighter on the end of this and got it hot and then I just kind of molded it with my fingers like that so it's got a nice, nice sharp point and uh, that should allow me to get it in through here hopefully sometimes I put a little bend on it to help get up in that hole once I get there might be better off to go straight in on this one. Oh, there it is and you'll want to tie your knot Pull it tight and you can go ahead and take the screwdriver out don't let go of the pulley and you'll see the pulley will wind itself but be careful don't let it pull it all the way in there you go let it wind I'm, I'm actually going to tie a knot on this string so it doesn't go all the way in there we go 
All right, you see that? It's all wound up now. Perfect. Before you put the handle on, you're going to want to pull this string through this guy. Remember that? Okay. Let's get the rope out of this handle so we can put it on. Get a pair of pliers you can usually pull the knot out might be able to pull it out with this yeah there we go so that rope's too fat to go up into the, the hole here so I'm going to uh, get my lighter melt it squish it down a little bit get that tip good and hot I'm gonna wet my fingers so I don't burn myself and just kind of pull that into a point now we should be able to get up in here yeah okay I can see it poking through Go ahead and tie my knots. I like to put two knots on this one. Double knot. All right. Go ahead and tighten that down. It's just two screws that hold this down. That's pretty nice. Easy to take on and off. I'm not going to use my power drill to tighten them up because they will strip. Be very careful tightening these down because they strip very easily. So just a little more than snug. Want them tight, don't strip them. Then you have to get a new one of these or use bigger bolts here. Oop, and we've got to take this off. Ta da! All right, these go back in. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, Jeff, what about that ferrule on the rope? Well, I'll show you how to take the old one off and reuse it. Okay, so I have this little uh, ferrule wedged in my vise, and I'm going to jam a screwdriver down in there and twist. Yeah, just wedge your screwdriver in there. Oops, I'm going to tighten this vise up a little bit. And if you pry it open enough, you can just pull the rope out. So you want your rope extended and in position. And then we get down here and just pinch this little ferrule. Alright, we're good. All right, let's see how she runs.